Hi everybody, welcome to Astrology and Psychic Readings with Lady D. I'm your host for this section, Lady D. Happy for had an amazing week and a fabulous Easter. It's Good Friday for me over in Sydney, so it's a holiday for us. So we've got a four-day weekend, which is great. So what's coming up for this week ahead? So what we have coming up, we've got the main, the big thing is Mercury retrograde, which is happening on the 1st of April, and that is going to be in Aries. So that is going to be quite a strong uh, Mercury retrograde, I feel like. It might be a very, um, the energies might be, be very like strong and sort of frustrating, I feel. Mercury retrograde is, it's like things don't work or plans don't work out or we've got things that we, um, as hiccups in the road, I find, with Mercury retrograde. As I always say, the positive with Mercury retrograde and something that I really um, enjoy about it is that I always seem to meet people from the past. So it could be people that I worked with or friends from that I've lost in contact always seem to pop up. And so for me, that's what I tend to enjoy about the Mercury retrograde, to see who will sort of turn up in my path this time. But there's always that frustration aspect of things not going right. Um, I know like it's happened twice to me in Mercury retrograde where I've been driving on the highway and a truck has brought a stone into the rinse of my car and I've had to get that set fixed. So now I'm more cautious when I'm a, a Mercury retrograde's on, but I'm driving behind any trucks. So I try to always move in a different lane. So in Aries, Aries can be a quite a very strong sign. It can be a sign of a bit demanding and frustration and anger and war. So we may see things come up in those aspects around the world or even in yourself. You might find that people are more demanding or that you're getting more uh, frustration. I feel like there's a, a sense of adventure, people wanting adventure. I do feel like there also could be a sense of coming up this week of people wanting things to be more stable and having more stability around them. Uh, I feel like it might feel like you're wanting to control things or take leadership, or, and it could also be also about making extra plans. But I feel like it's also going to bring up things of forgetfulness. I feel like um, there's going to be there could be some, some um, I'm hearing like awkward confrontations that could be coming up during this time too. It's, it is for three weeks. And during those three weeks, you will have an eclipse as well that's going to be in Aries too. So we've got all these things that are come up in this retrograde. It is going to be, I think it'll be a quite interesting three weeks ahead that we come up. April is going to be a big month in the astrology where we have Jupiter moving closer to Uranus and, and having a conjunction there. This week, we've also, there was a slight square here with Mars and Chiron that can bring up some sort of frustrations over each, issues that are causing you some deep distress. We've also got Venus, which is going to be conjuncting Neptune on the 3rd of the 4th. So that's going to be around money and love. So that can be, um, that can create a dissolving effect. I always find that Neptune for me is a dissolve. Um, other people say it's rose colored glasses. So it could, I guess it could also create a sense of stability or a sense of or you're seeing um through people's mishaps or rose colored glasses so you're not seeing people's flaws um in in that or a dreamlike statement you might also be in a dreamlike state that day as well on the fourth fifth we've also got a conjunction here with the sun and the node so that time it probably will be more about um your life lesson and what your destiny is and your path and, and thinking and trying to really I get some, some soul searching in that day that's coming up too but I feel like because we've got so much Aries energy with Aries and Pisces energy that we've got in the planets at the moment so it's this sort of unstableness they're both you got the last star, star sign and the first star sign the first being the strongest the last one being not the strongest so I feel like this is this is where we're getting the sense of instability here um, I feel like people need grounding I feel like it's a sense there's a sense of a force of something being force as well with the planets the way that they are but it could be a lot of back and forth. And it might, may, might seem like, especially with this Mars that's, that is in Pisces, like sometimes you might feel like you're losing your mind. And I've had a, a few things like that in the last couple of weeks where I've just been very stressed out and feel like, yeah, am I going crazy? You're not going crazy. It's just the planets. <laughs> that I always say. It's just the planets. So let's go to the caller. 
So we've got here Chrissy, who's in Texas. So hi, Chrissy, how are you today? I'm good. Now, how can I help you today? Well, I'm thinking about moving to Florida. I live in Texas, but I'm thinking about moving to Florida to be around my daughter and grandchildren. And I was just wondering when a good time would be to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. I feel like summer. I feel like your summer. I know your summers are winter, so I feel like the summer. I and you're talking. I feel like your grandson really wants to be with you. So, I, I, do they have a? You've got a grandson? Because I'm, I'm hearing about the grandson. I'm seeing the boy. Yeah. Okay, great. Because I'm just seeing, and he feel like he wants you. I'm just seeing like this boy, like this child, like he wants his own grandmother. Um, I do feel like you will like it. Is the heat not as intense in Florida as it is in Texas? I'm not sure how the weather goes there, but I thought there's something about the heat there. Um, so is the heat not intense, as intense in Florida as it is in Texas, or it's of, of right around? Uh, it's more humid in Florida than it is Texas. Well, okay, I'm just giving it humid, it's almost intense. I'm not sure. All right, let me see. I do feel like this move will be good for you. I do feel like there's a thing of money here. I feel like you're going to be able to put more money in the bank as well. Um, I feel like it's going to get, be, I feel like the move is going to come quite naturally. And I feel like, I feel like where you're going to move, it'll be close to your, your family, but not too close. So I feel like there's like, I'm going to say like arms, uh, arms things. I feel like you're going to be close, but not too close to them. Like there'd be space, but I feel like it's going to be really good for, more for the grandchildren, I'm feeling like, than your, than your daughter. It's more for the grandchildren. So I feel like yeah. too it is. Too. I feel July. I, feel like I do see a moving truck and I feel like I am July and there is a removal of truck there. I feel like this is going to be a really big move um, for for you and I also feel like it's sad to let the house go because I'm kind of a bit emotional a bit sad to let the house go um, mm -hmm. as, as well. Um, to... well I actually have to wait until at least August because my other daughter is pregnant here so I can't leave before then mm -hmm. okay Maybe it's like right after or she has the baby in July who knows Maybe I still see a removal truck. So maybe you're getting things a ready. Truck? Yeah, a removing truck. The the, the um, truck to put the furniture in, um, like oh, the yeah. packing things up. So maybe you're getting things ready in July. Perhaps that's what it is. I feel like there's a contract to be signed here. So I feel like that there's there is a contract signed. Oh, well, good. I I. I I kind of feel like it's before August. I do feel like I'm signing something before August here too. I will say that with both daughters, uh, you are, because you're moving, there's a pull. I feel like there was a pull between both. So I feel like as one's just growing their family and then the one that you're going to be closer to, but there's a pull here. So I feel like you're going to get pulled in, in two directions with them. Yes, my youngest one is very toxic, so that's why I'm relocating. Okay, but she wants you there. Um, yeah. Look, I feel like your obligation isn't going to be to, so because she's the way she is, it's not so much to her, but more the children. So we'll say that you're still having contact with them. It's more for the children than, than her. And I feel like it mm -hmm. could be like, come and stay with me like on holidays or um, like long weekends. I just feel like you're going to be in their lives, but it's not because of your daughter. It's, it's the children. Um, and it's that, that will, they're more your priority um, too. I feel like this, this um, your daughter, Toxie, is very snappy. So I feel like she's just very, very snappy. Um, she's too. bipolar. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety, uh, desire. I feel like there's anxiety for her that's coming, yeah. that's coming out um, too. I, I feel like I'm hearing motion coaching, so I feel like maybe she, um, 
uh, we call it motion coaching. It's it's a term that we have. It's a part of a program that you learn uh, with teenagers. So I feel like you've got to somehow, um, when she's having a, a flare up or a bit of an outburst, you need to sort of like sort of reason with her. So it's like you know, I know you're going, I know you're going through this hard time at the moment. I know you must be feeling very frustrated. So go through how they're feeling, and then go, then you change her and be like, so this is, um, but this is what I sort of I need and what, how I feel. And then you, then you sort of go, hey, we can work together. It's got, it's got emotion coaching, but I feel like she she needs something like that, like reinforcing right, or. Yeah, because I feel like it's it's very all one one sided. But if she sees a different perspective, it's like she'll she'll see things a, a slightly different way. As part of her being a mother, we need help though. I feel like she can't do it on her own. Um, so you might have to step in more at some point with that to help her. Because I just feel like you're gonna um, you're a real advocacy for the children in your family. Yes, an That's advocate I'm for them. I'm you're going to be very happy when you move. I just feel like this is a also a new beginning. It is a better place for you. I will say that because this card came out. So I feel like it's a better place for you. Um, but you also provide a security. I don't know if this is the youngest daughter or not, but it's, just, it's like they feel the world's turning upside down here because you, you provide a security for them as well. Um, I know. Too, as well. But I, I do feel like it's going to be happy. And I feel like it's going to happen for you. Um, I feel like by Christmas time, you're very excited. You're very good. You're in a Christmas spirit. I see you like with the Christmas, like the Santa hat on. I see you like in a very festive gear and you're very excited and everybody's coming around you. So I feel like Christmas is going to be a, a good, you're very settled by then too. But I just feel like being there in the summertime, summer, it's going to be um good. But I do see, I just feel like you're signing a contract yeah. before August. So I'm hoping to be able to afford a house and I'm going through something right now and I may be getting some money out of it so yeah that I see I see small so I feel like what you're going to get is something that's small possibly a three bedroom place but I feel like I'm hearing small so I don't feel like it's going to be a gigantic place small I also want to say it's near uh near beach I feel like it's somehow near the beach so not on the beach but somehow yeah. near okay um, okay, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you so much. That's okay. So I hope everyone has a wonderful week ahead. If you want to contact me, you can. Um, my website is Lady D Psychic Parties and my Facebook page is Lady D Psychic Parties. And my TikTok and Instagram is Lady D Psychic and um, my web, my YouTube is like Lady D, or if you can't find that, look under Daniel Psychic. I hope you have an amazing Easter. Um, so if you're having, if you do get a four-day weekend, I hope you have a lovely four-day weekend over here in Australia, everywhere else. I hope if you're having a long weekend or how many days that you have over this Easter period, I hope that you have a wonderful time. So thank you, and I'll see you same time, same place next week. So bye for now. Bye.